wool. Perfect. So let's start. Hello there. Welcome to our webinar, Discover the Digital World of Engineering in Paris, France with ISEP International. My name is Karen Botero and I'll be hosting this webinar once again on representing Vivo Mundo. So before I get started, I would like to share with you a short video about ISEP. So let me mm, share the video. Let me share the screen. And then I'll tell you a little bit more. about this webinar. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you very much and welcome everyone for joining us today in this webinar with ISEP International. Um, I would like to uh, introduce, oh, please let me to introduce Hank and Mr. Thomas. And um, they are going to be presenting this webinar and they will be talking about the digital world of engineering in Paris, France. So if you have any questions, just drop all your questions on the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen, and we will go back to them at the very end of the presentation. So I would like to give the floor to our panelists, Karen and Thomas. Okay, so um, hello everybody. Thank you for joining this webinar session. And today um, we would like to present to you the different academic programs of ESAP and um, the, we will give you an overview of our school. And in the end of my presentation, today we have invited one of our international students. So he will share his experience and, uh, at ESAP and his uh, experience uh, 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 his uh, experience for his daily life in Paris. And then in the end, uh, my colleague Thomas will give uh, everybody a Q&A session. So if you have any question, uh, you can ask. So let's start. Uh, so today for this uh, presentation, uh, first of all, I will introduce you as an overview of our, our school, the different academic programs, uh, the international university partnership, co uh, uh, corporate partnership, and for sure, yes, uh, we have a laboratory and we have different research activities and ASAP. And um, many of you may uh, would like to know the student life and ESAP, uh, what about the job placement after graduation? So uh, we will share all that with you. And uh, for sure, we will share with you our admission criteria for this September 2021 intake. So let's start. Uh, so ESAP is a French engineering graduate school uh, specialized in digital technology. As you can see here, so we are specialized in four domain, computer science and cybersecurity, electronics, telecommunication and IoT, uh, image processing and data science, AI. Uh, our school was established in 1955. So until today, we have more than 65 years of history. Uh, we are a non-profit private graduate school and our degree is accredited by CTI. Uh, it's considered as the highest accreditation uh, in, in France uh, since 1959. And our degree is not only recognized by the French state, our degree is also recognized in Europe. As you can see here in the bottom of this PowerPoint, uh, page. So there is a logo called Euro Ace. So our degree is recognized in Europe too. To give you a general idea, so ESAP has 1,650 students 
And uh, in 2020, we have 375 graduates. We have a strong alumni network. So until today, we have uh, more than 9,400 alumni. And we are the members of different organizations and associations. And based on the survey on 2020, so um, the first salary after graduation for ESEP uh, students uh, is around 44,000 euros. We have two campuses. Uh, the first campus is located in six district of Paris. Uh, it's a Latin uh, area. Uh, um, and uh, we host, for example, Stanford uh, University. They have an office called Stanford in Paris. It's located in our first campus. Um, we have the second campus. It's not far from the first campus. It's only 20 minutes by metro. And it's located in Paris region too. Um, and the, the department is called IC Le Molino, and it's uh, considered a smart city since 1990. Uh, many high technological companies are located here. Uh, for example, Microsoft, uh, Cisco, uh, Orange, um, uh, France Television, uh, Huawei Technology, and all. And uh, the second campus have a, uh, I mean, it's a, uh, for our graduates, uh, it can be considered an advantage because if let's say they are looking for um, a final year internship or uh, if let's say they would like to uh, find a job offer, uh, this um, uh, location is very good for the second campus. Okay, uh, the second part of my presentation, I will show you the different academic program at ESEP. So at ESEP, we offer uh, five different, uh, different kinds of academic programs. We offer engineering graduate program. We offer innovation and entrepreneurship program. We offer specialized masters. Uh, we offer PhD program in partnership with universities. And we, for the professionals, we provide continuing education. Um, so at ESEP, we provide eight different specializations. For example, information systems, software engineering, embed systems, wireless telecommunication and IoT, business intelligence, digital security and network, e-house, um, innovation and entrepreneurship. As you can see here, uh, there are three majors are highlighted in are highlighted in blue color. So for the, uh, for the moment, these three majors are fully taught in English. And we do have a double degrees, uh, both in France and with other uh, foreign universities. So you can see here, we have collaboration with uh, business school in France, uh, with, uh, 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 with electronics or uh, telecommunication related uh, domains with other universities too. ESAP, yes, you will have lectures, uh, you will have tutorials, uh, you will have uh, lab um, courses. And one of uh, our uh, special uh, course is called project-based learning. So for this kind of project-based learning, so students will have a real case study. And you can see the photo here. Um, so normally it's five or six students, they will uh, make a little group and they will work hands in a company and um, uh, they have to do a periodic uh, presentation to the professor and the professor will give the uh, support from the technological point of view or for the technical issues, but actually students work independently. And uh, for this kind of project based learning, we would like to create uh, not only our students technical skills, and we would like to develop our students soft skills, for example, how to manage a project, uh, how to uh, do the team management or communi uh, communication between different members. Okay, uh, we have more than, until today we have more than 140 uh, international partners, uh, university partners all over the world. Um, and ESAP is considered as one of the top 10 engineering graduate schools, which sends the most students 
abroad. Um, in our campus, so we have around 400 international students. So as you know, uh, we have in total 1,600 students. So it's around 25% of our students are international students. And um, uh, yes, so we have the collaboration with Stanford University for 18 years, and we do have exchange professors from different university. Uh, for international students, uh, we have uh, an international uh, men mentoring uh, system. For example, we have international student club like ISEPA, and we have uh, different student clubs to help, uh, to help international students to get culture immersion. And we provide free French classes for all international students. Okay, so now uh, I would like to present you our corporate partners. So at ESEP, we have around 200 lectures. Among these 200 lectures, we have 120 industrial lectures. And they mainly concentrate on our final year courses and uh, final year study project. Thanks to our corporate partners, each year we have around 7,500 offers for internship, uh, around 4,500 offers for, um, for jobs, job offers, and around 1,000 apprenticeship offers from our partners. And they also organize different job fairs, uh, interview simulations or business games to our students. And sometimes we organize uh, some technical talk or professional uh, talk session for our students. And based on the survey of last year, uh, so all our students, they have found a job after their graduation within three months. And 80% of our graduates, they are working in uh, lead forms, means Paris region and 12% of our uh, graduates work abroad. And you can see here, there is an, another 8%. Uh, so actually we have another 8% of our graduates. Uh, they are working in the big cities or other cities in France, uh, for example, Toulouse, Lyon, Bordeaux, different cities. And uh, here I would like to just highlight one thing. So as you can see here, majority of our uh, graduates, they are working in Paris uh, region. Uh, so uh, I think the location of our school uh, provide uh, uh, a good, uh, I mean, uh, job um, environment. If let's say student, students they would like to look for a job, I think the location of the campus um, plays an important role too. Um, so we cannot list all our 400 corporate, uh, corporate partners here, but you can have a general idea. So what kind of partners we do have. So we have partners from industry, uh, we have partners from IT consulting domain, from banks, uh, from telecommunication domain, from hardware, software, or other domain, for example, luxury or cosmetics. The fifth part, we will talk about our research activities and ESEP. ESEP has a laboratory called LEADIT, and we have two research groups, and we have 40 researchers. 20, uh, it, actually, these 40 uh, researchers, uh, uh, they are 20 uh, PhD students and 20 professors. And the main research areas are in AI, resource management in multi-user valid system, advanced method of interpreting and image coding, energy recover, uh, recovery systems, micro, nano, and electronic systems. And regarding research applications, uh, so our applications actually is uh, uh, applied in uh, different uh, domains. As you can see here, uh, for example, in biomedical domain, in connected environments, um, in Every, um, environment and sustainable agri agriculture in education and human learning. Okay, um, about the student life. Yes, yeah, so we always encourage our students to participate in different student clubs. Um, at ESEP, we have more than 30 student associations. Um, as you can see here, so we have listed um, a few student 
uh, clubs or associations uh, for your reference. So for example, the junior exam is ranked as one of the uh, 30 best junior enterprise in France since 2015. Actually, the student club, they run it and the company, and uh, each year they have real project with the company and they have their benefit uh, from their uh, for this project. And we have sport clubs, such as set, ESAP selling clubs. So we are the winner of the French student club since 2013. And um, yes, and we are specialized in digital domain. Uh, so since 1996, uh, we, um, we participate in the French Robotic Cup uh, each year. And there are different innovation or entrepreneurship uh, associations and clubs for our students. Okay, um, finally, yes, we would like to uh, share with you the job placement of our graduates. Uh, so based on the survey of um, last year, so you can see here, uh, the majority of our graduates, uh, they are working uh, and the information system engineer and information industrial design engineer. And 13% of our graduates are working as uh, um, expert or IT consulting engineer. Um, and 8% of our students, uh, they, they are working as um, uh, IoT Internet of Things design engineer, uh, follow, <clears throat> followed by R&D, project management, commercial engineer. So actually a French graduate, um, uh, a French engineering graduate degree. So in, fr uh, in French, we call it Diplôme d'Engineur. Actually, they can, uh, uh, this degree can open many doors for you. So you can see that actually you can work in the technical domain and you also can work as a commercial engineer or a project manager. Regarding the sectors, which is logical too. Uh, so majority of our students work in the ICT industry or computing and information systems and finance and industry, followed by telecommunication, transport, energy, and the house. I think in the future, maybe for example, for the health sector, um, there will be an increase. Okay. Uh, so here are a few examples of our graduates uh, and the, they are considered as successful uh, cases and we would like to share with you. So you can see here, so uh, we have uh, graduates, they are active in different sectors. So for example, we have a student, uh, he's, uh, he's graduated in 1975 and he's uh, uh, the vice president from uh, IBM France and now he's uh, the coach and EZEP. And we have the student, you can see here, they are, uh, they are working for internet companies, uh, they are working for the telecommunication companies, or aerospace companies, or military companies, or financing companies. And um, recently, in recent years, we are encouraging our students to have the entrepreneurship or innovative um, uh, spread. So you can see here for the class 2008 and 2009, uh, we have students who uh, have created their own startup companies. And we wish you can join us one day and you will be one of these uh, successful stories. Okay, uh, lastly, uh, about the admission. So for this September intake, we offer two programs uh, for international students. So the first, uh, the first program, CII program, International Integrated Circle program is oriented for high school graduates who are specialized in scientific domain, okay? Um, and for this program, we provide an English speaking stream and French spe uh, speaking stream. And um, yes, high school graduates, but you must major in science, okay? So uh, you must have mathematics, physics during your study. And uh, for this program, actually, is a two-year program. For this CII program, it, uh, it's called Fundamental Year, okay? Uh, it's called uh, Preparatory Circle. So you will have all the fundamental courses, such as mathematics, physics, uh, robotics, uh, humanities, management, and all. And then if you clear all these two years courses, you will be enrolled directly to a three-year engineering circle. And after this five year study, you will receive the engineering master degree. Okay, it's considered as graduate degree. 
The second program we will offer to all the international students is ESAP Engineering Master Degree Program. We call it IEMDP program. This is a, a two-year program. This program is oriented for uh, bachelor holders. Okay, so for candidates with a bachelor, for example, in computer science, electronics engineering, telecommunication and network, or any digital related domain, you can apply for this program. So this two year program, it contains three academic semesters and one internship semester is a final year internship. And uh, after these two year studies, you will receive uh, the French engineering graduate degree uh, so it's, a, it's equivalent to master degree. So if you have any further question, you can reach us uh, by sending an email uh, uh, to international at ezepisep.fr. Okay, uh, so this is a little summary of my presentation. I think I have highlighted all the information. And maybe uh, just the last point about the welcome package. So for all the students, uh, international students, we provide airport pickup, we provide housing service. If you need to find an uh, apartment or a student studio in Paris, we, we have a housing service to help you. And uh, we offer an information day to all the international students. It's an orientation day. Okay, so, um, so uh, I will, uh, this is the end of my presentation. And now I will pass uh, uh, to our uh, one of our international students, Juan. Uh, so um, he has joined us last year and he's from various telecommunication and IoT major. So Juan, so could you please um, share your experiences and insight with all the students? Thank you. Yes. yes. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ms. Han, Ms. Thomas, and everyone. Uh, do you hear me? Is okay the audio? Yes. It's okay? Yes. Great. Uh, yes, uh, you know, this, this is an amazing experience. I, I, I made a little slide, so maybe I can share with you uh, here. So you tell me if you can see my screen, my presentation. Yes, we can yes? see it. <laughs> Great. Ok, eh, as, eh, bueno, de repente algunos de ustedes hablan en español. Yo soy Juan Pablo Hernández, soy peruano, eh, vengo de, de, de la carrera de sistemas y negocios. Eh, tra eh, trabajo en Microsoft. Bueno, well, eh, I'm Peruvian, my name is Juan Pablo Hernández. I'm, 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 I studied eh, a Bachelor of Science in Business and Information Systems and Engineering. Also, I've been working at my, in, in Peru at Microsoft for a couple of years uh, as a cloud specialist, technical cloud specialist. And also I did, uh, I, when I was there, I also found a startup that was based on cloud computing. Cloud computing. Uh, me and I am, a, I'm some of my friends, we built this uh, ERP cloud based. So always I, I've been in the field of te technology, cloud and all, and now with telecommunication at Internet of Things, that is the new wish. Uh, so that's, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, from, I'm coming from that. And when I choose ICEP, um, I start researching about it uh, because I didn't know too much about the, the French education system of, or the European uh, education system. So I, I find that the Grand Ecoles are pretty much like the Ivy League in the United States, you know, the Ivy League are the best college, the best university, Harvard, Stanford, MIT. So in, in French, the, the, it's like that. The Grand Ecoles uh, are the places when you have the higher education because you can have a degree on engineering in, in, in an university, but also you can have in a Grand Ecole, but these Grand Ecoles are places with, with uh, more, they're more, more, more investigation, uh, it's, it's more prestigious. And also we have, a, as the professor said, we have a, um, a agreement with Stanford University that came from the Ivy League. And if you can search in, this, in their website, they, they, also, they point us uh, as one of the highest ranking uh, enseignants, uh, the places to study engineering in, in Paris, in French. So I totally convinced with that. And when I came, the, cl the classes, 
you know, they are really demanding. The, the professors came from the, the, some are researchers. They are researching the last technologies, 5, 5G, Internet of Things, all the, the last of technology. So you, you have the theoretical and the practical knowledge of the last tendence on, on trends, of the last trends on technology, but also, so uh, our professors are uh, are uh, coming from pl places like IBM, Orange, or the one of the biggest bank here, the Societe Generale, and uh, you have a lot of information. The class are really practical. Uh, you know, it's a, an explosion of knowledge and really, really um, uh, energizing place because. There is a lot of knowledge and uh, you do a lot of things technically too. So it's, it's really, really, in that way, it's really cool. It's really great. And, and also there is something really amazing of, of, of studying here, uh, the intercultural experience. Because, you know, I have friend, uh, friends for, for here, I have friends for, from Asia, from Africa, from Europe, from Middle East, from North, North America. And this being, it's been, a, it's, it's actually been an experience really enrichful for, for me because, you know, when you, you have to work in a in big company, for example, like Microsoft I, or IBM, you always work with people from different countries. And when they select you, they prefer people who has this kind of background, someone who can lead with different culture, with different language or mean, mindsets. And this experience really enrichful in this way, in, in that way. And also, where uh, you share a lot of things with with your with, with your partners, and you make friends for life. And and, all, uh, and the chair on the on the cake, I think, is Paris. You know, because uh, Paris, is, uh, as uh, uh, someone say, uh, a lot of people say, is the La Plume Ville. So this city. Is, is really beautiful. You, you can you study a lot, you, you have time to study, but also you can walk in the streets, see all the beauty, beautiful architecture of this city and the, and the forests and the parks. It's, it's, really, it's a really nice place to study and to live. And okay, and that, that, that's it. I, I hope you have a little idea how is studying here? How is being here? Sharing with uh, all, all your partners here. And espero verlos pronto y muchas gracias por escucharme. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Juan, for sharing yes, uh, all the excellent. You, yes, thank you. For, for so many um, precious moments with us and precious experiences with everybody. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe Juan, because you're still here, uh, maybe you can answer some questions related to your uh, experiences. Uh, so uh, the first question, because it's it has been asked in uh, Spanish, but I think uh, what what are your best uh, or let's say with an S experiences uh, as international students? Uh, well, from the point of view of academical, this being really a uh, really challenge because uh, in my career actually studying engineering is kind of hard but when i came here they make me go beyond what i think i could go a uh, really amazing how far i could go in knowledge in, in really technical knowledge in deep knowledge and also the experience that working with different people from different backgrounds because you sometimes in, in, you see in tv or in movies uh, that from this country are like this or like that, but working and sharing life with them is really different and you have to learn a lot and you really feel good about everything you do through. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think there, there, are, there is a second question in Spanish. Maybe Karen can help and ask uh, Rowan, but I think it's about Internet of Things. For sure, yes, I will do it. So thank you very much for uh, your presentation and thank you Juan for joining us today. Um, we have another question for you that says, ¿Qué piensas del programa sobre Internet of Things, el Internet de las Cosas? ¿Lo recomendarías? Eh, sí, totalmente. Uh, you want me to, to answer in Spanish or English? Oh, okay, but I can do it. Como quieras. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. sí, miren, eh, 
realmente yo hace unos años eh, estaba muy metido en, en todo esto de lo que era cloud computing, porque era lo último, la, lo último en tecnología, ¿no? la, la última wave. Pero eh, a lo largo de los años vi que Internet of Things estaba cobrando mucha importancia. Y bueno, estando en Sudamérica ya me daba cuenta viendo los journals de Estados Unidos y todo eso. Y cuando llegué acá y pude averiguar eh, más profundamente que realmente, o sea, lo, eh, la, la tecnología se va a centrar en ciudades smart, en objetos conectados, todo eso va, va a tender ahí. Y si ustedes ven los gráficos de crecimiento de Gartner, eh, se, ve muy, se, se ve que en, de aquí dos, tres años, todos los empleos, todas las ofertas tecnológicas van a estar centradas en, en Internet of Things y Connected Objects. Porque ahora mismo eso ya es una realidad. Muchos de nosotros cabemos de Alexa, de Google Home y, y, de, todo, y de todos los Smart, de los Focus Smart y, y, todos, y todas esas tendencias. Pero también aquí se aplican, en, por ejemplo, en las ciudades inteligentes, en cómo ahorrar energía. Entonces, esta es una ola que está viniendo, así como cuando salió la Internet, eh, cuando, cuando recién salía Internet y Bill Gates y, y todo lo que hizo con Microsoft, ahorita Internet of Things va a ser la siguiente gran ola que va a cambiar la forma en que vivimos y la forma en que trabajamos. ¿Tú quieres hacer algo en inglés también? No, creo que está bien. Lo más importante es que nuestro invitado aquí And the, all the attendees, they can understand your answer. And I suppose yeah. that all of them speak Spanish. <laughs> Majority, yes. Agreed. Yes, you, your answer was, was pretty good. So thank you very much about that. So we have a couple of um, questions. Uh, so I will read them and you will decide who wants to answer. Is that okay? okay? Perfect. That's okay. Yes. So we have a question here that says, what's the most, um, what was the most challenging part of being an international student? So I think this one is for you, Juan. Okay. Um, okay, the, the most challenging, I think, well, one of the challenges were to understand the education system here because it's different than in, in Peru and probably in South America. Is, uh, is really deep in, in the lectures because you have a lot of knowledge, but they, they give you time to put in practice. And the other thing that was really, really difficult at the beginning, it was to do the, job, the work, the work groups with, with people who has a really different way of th see things. It, it was like, it took me like a, a month or something to, to understand a little bit and learn to work interculturally. Perfect, thank you very much. Uh, we have another question that says, did you find it difficult to adjust and make friends at the university? Uh, uh, no, 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 actually no. It, Everyone is, is really, really nice. Actually, um, here in, in French, people is really, really, really polite, and really friendly. You know, I, I'm amazed how friendly people are, uh, how educated, and they treat you as if you were one national. So it's an amazing place to be a, as a foreigner. And in the, in, in, in ISEP, you know, they trade me so well. They, they, Uh, because they always helping me, the administrative, uh, 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 the administrator sector, they always uh, giving you advices, helping you even, you know, to find a place to live, to open your bank account or in any academic, uh, even the professor. They tell, they, something that surprised me a lot was uh, that I, prof I remember one of the professors, Lima, Lina More, told me, uh, you know, I'm here, not to grade uh, how much you know. I'm here to help you to improve your professional, uh, your professional life, your professional knowledge. So here people is to help us. And that's uh, for me, it's, it's, it's really warm. It is amazing. I'm really uh, grateful for that. Great, thank you very much. And uh, we have another question that says, 
¿qué tan alto es el costo de vida para un estudiante internacional en Francia? Eh, bueno, eh, Francia, igual que toda la Unión... Oh, uh, I, do I answer? Sorry. Yes, right? Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Eh, Francia eh, es, un, es un lugar eh, un poco caro, igual que toda la Unión Europea. Y París es, es un, dentro de, de Francia es uno de los más caros, pero el gobierno a los estudiantes les da muchos beneficios. Por ejemplo, cuando tú alquilas un lugar, te ayudan con un gran porcentaje el alquiler. Eh, para la comida también este, tienes unas tarjetas de estudiante en que te permiten eh, ir a los restaurantes universitarios que tienen una muy buena comida equilibrada para tu salud. Eh, todo es muy saludable. Aparte de eso, también el de transporte te dan, este, te dan un descuento por ser estudiante. Y en muchos lugares turísticos, cuando tú viajas, cuando vas a los museos, eh, como, te, te ayuda bastante con, con, el, con, con el nivel de vida. O sea, es caro, pero tienes mucha ayuda del gobierno. Entonces, sí, um, yes, thank you, Ron. And in all cases, uh, it is required to, to obtain your visa to show to the French uh, consulate that you have at least uh, 650 euros per month over one year. Uh, this is the minimum re requirements, you know, to obtain the visa. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, we have uh, some questions that we have answered in writing, but I think it's good to answer them live for the people who are watching us in our Facebook live. Yes. So I will read them and mm -hmm. you, Thomas, if you don't mind, that will be yes. great if you can answer yeah. them. So For what sure. uh, extracurricular activities do you offer in Paris? Yes, so um, because we have many, many student associations, so uh, you will have many, many uh, extracurricular activities. Uh, for example, uh, uh, if you like to to do sports so you can join the sport associations. If you like to sail so you can join the um, sailing associations. If you prefer uh, to cook so you can join the cooking associations. Uh, and my colleague Hong during uh, presentations also said that uh, we have this junior enterprise uh, which is uh, a company managed uh, by the students. Uh, so if you think you have the uh, skills to join this uh, junior enterprise, so you can apply um, and check with them directly. So many, many possibilities. And the last one, of course, is to uh, design and create your own uh, associations. So you will receive some financial support from the schools. Of course, you have to apply, you have to fill some form and uh, present your ideas to the executive committee. And then um, you create your associations by, um, uh, you know, by uh, filling some form and, and send them to the, what we call here, the uh, French uh, prefecture, because an association has some status uh, and, and that's it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, our next question will be, what level of English will I need to study there? Yes. So, uh, in, so uh, as uh, my colleague mentioned, so we have program talk in French. And we have program talk in English. But at the end, all the courses will be talking English at ESEP. So the first thing to have is to, to manage English. So the minimum requirement for English, it's the ILTS 6.0 or TOEFL 79 IBT test. Uh, there is a question about Duolingo. So, so far, we do not uh, accept Duolingo, but we are studying it and see how we can uh, um, check the equivalence table with the ILTS or, or TOEFL, for example. Okay, because Duolingo is quite new for us, so we, we're checking. Perfect. So we have another question related to languages. It says, do I need a French proficiency level to study there? Uh, so if you apply for English programs, so there is no need to have, to, 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 to have a, a French proficiency already. But for sure, in France, you will learn French because you are surrounded by French people and French language is also included in the program. Uh, so if you go, if you apply for the two years program, the IEMDP program, so you have three semester of uh, intensive learning of French, it's four hours per week during three semester. So at the end, normally you should reach B1 or B2 level, which is uh, the requirement to obtain the degree. For those who join the five years program, so you have 
much longer time to learn French. Uh, um, and for sure, at the end, you will have at least a B2 level. Okay, Perfect. which Thank is the you. minimum requirement to get the degree. Great. Thank you very much. Here it says, um, any advice on how to network for my career? So networking, yeah, uh, networking is always um, challenging because it's dependent on, on you, okay? If you are open-minded, if you like to meet people and discuss, like, like Juan, for example, he's quite um, warm touching. Uh, he has a quite warm personality. So I think it's easy for him to, to get involved in many uh, networking aspects. So networking for career, um, so you have to come first on yourself. But of course, uh, because ISEP has a quite strong alumni, uh, so I invite you to join the alumni and you will be part of the uh, graduate um, students from ISEP and you, you can directly have many opportunities, uh, job mainly because you are a young engineer. You have friends also, so do not forget all your friends. So Juan mentioned that uh, he, makes a lot of friends uh, in France and uh, offshore this is uh, for life, uh, most of them. So, and France has uh, maybe some opportunities. So contacting them, getting uh, their point of view, exchanging with them. So, and maybe they have some job opportunities. And of course, during your professional career, you will meet many, many people. And all of these uh, people that you're going to meet, uh, it's part of the network, of your network. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes, I think meeting people while studying abroad is one of the most exciting parts of the process. So thank yes. you very much. Mm, well, we have another question that says, um, is there any help for mental health issues? And does the university support its students as they are so far away from mm. home? Yes, um, so for sure, especially now the day with these pandemic situations, uh, uh, many students need uh, um, psychological support and help. Uh, so uh, since many years now, so we set up uh, what we call here in France, uh, uh, the uh, psychological um, uh, support uh, uh, team. Okay, so you can take an appointment with some psi every day in uh, both campuses. Uh, uh, they speak English. Uh, I, I'm not sure that they're speaking Spanish, but at least they speak French and English. And um, so you, you take an appointment and you can just uh, go and uh, meet them, discuss your issues. So they will try to uh, support you and hope that you will overcome all your problems. Otherwise, you can come back to us, the international office. We are here also to give you advice and see what we can do. And last but not least, uh, you can always go to see some over doctors, uh, because in France, we have a quite good, let's say, health systems. Uh, as a student, uh, you will almost, uh, uh, you will pay almost nothing because uh, you have the national health insurance, but you can take your, uh, your own insurance to, to have a full uh, reimbursement of what you are going to pay to the doctors. So uh, I think it's, it's help. Thank you very much. Um, the same person has a question about visa advice. Do you offer any um, visa advice or any support when it comes to apply for a student visa? Um, yeah, so for, for visa, visa is already the last step, you know, uh, because uh, which means you already been selected, you go through uh, some interviews, your application is good. Uh, so, and for sure, we are here to help you to get uh, your visa. And uh, one advice is to be prepared to, to know exactly why you are coming to France and what program you are going to study. And of course, uh, we will help you to get uh, your visa. Um, if, if required, you can, we can discuss directly with, um, with uh, the applicants and see how we can help him, even training him to get his visa. You know, Obtaining a visa is not really difficult uh, because you come here, you have already uh, um, some interest in the program, you know what you're going to study, you, you know maybe France already, uh, you, you, yeah, you, you, you see uh, how it works and, so, and you have a goal. Great, thank you very much. Um, we have another question that says, can I apply for an internship in one of your programs? 
Um, so I, I'm not sure to understand this question. Uh, as you know, the internship is part of a program. Okay, over five years, you have uh, two semester per internship. So mainly during the fourth and the fifth year, uh, so one semester. Um, and for the two years program, it's the last semester of the program, okay? So internship is included in the program. If the question is, uh, could he just join and carry out the internship? Yeah, this is not possible like that. So to, to go for internship, you have to know first learn the competencies and the skill and the knowledge required so, um, to, to know the environment also, it's important. Uh, you need to be trained to write your resume and to take interview. And then we have a huge database of internship coming from our corporate partners. So the students need to apply and then uh, try to get the internship because uh, he would be in competition with his classmates, of course, but for, also from the other young people from France. Okay, so one question, I, I think that it's kind of related to internships or to work in general is, can I work alongside my degree? Um, yes, it's possible. Uh, so when you are a student in France, according to your visa, you will get what we call here um, a long stay student visa. Um, it is possible to work for about 20 hours per week. Uh, but this is not uh, recommended to work so much, you know, because you are going to pay 9,000 euros per year. Um, most of the students get, uh, let's say, a low pay job, you know, uh, the Uber Eats, uh, something like that. So it's not well paid. But if you fail your study, uh, you will pay much more because when you repeat uh, one year, one semester, you have to pay again the tuition fee. So you have to count. If you can do it because you have uh, good marks, uh, you understand very quickly. It's always possible. Some students uh, have some part-time job, so it's possible. Perfect, thank you very much. We have another question that says, how are innovation and research practices reflected in the I ISAP programs? Um, so uh, for those who join our program, um, especially the program in two years, because this is the two last year of the engineering program before getting the master degree. So part of the program, uh, first, uh, uh, many lecturers, they are experts, okay? They are doing research or they are, some, they are com coming from companies. So which means what they are delivered to the students is already the state of, in, uh, this is already the state of the art in the domains, okay? And even our professor, when they teach something, it may come from the research directly, okay? And uh, during the study, uh, there, there, are, there is one module, which was five ECTS, uh, which is a project on innovation, innovations and research. So it's a way to introduce research to those who would like to continue maybe with a PhD or who would like to create their own uh, companies. Um, so this is uh, directly included in the program. Perfect, thank you very much. And we have the last question that says, what highlights or what makes different um, IESEP to, I mean, yes, to any other like, international or educational institutions in France? Yes, yeah, so I think um, the, um, the, my, my colleagues, uh, you know, she shown a slide with many boxes. And this is, uh, let's say, the main reason that you have to, why you would like, to, why, why you should join IZEP. Uh, I would say a, a French engineering school, you have many French engineering school in France. Uh, all of them are really good, uh, uh, including IZEP. So, uh, uh, whatever you join uh, an engineering school in France and you will get a master degree, which is also diploma d'ingénieur, uh, it's good. So one specificity of ISEP is they are in digital technologies, okay? We are one of the top engineering school in digital technologies. We are, one, we are located in Paris, which is um, uh, so a beautiful city, as one said, the city of light. Uh, our engineers are well known in many companies. We have a huge alumni network too. Uh, and of course, uh, as, you, as you said, um, you have a choice, but um, so ISEB, it's uh, one, of, uh, one of the top choices. 
Perfect. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you, Hang, and thank you, Juan, for joining us, joining thank us you, today. Karen. Thank, thank you, you for Karen. your presentation. Mm -hmm. I thank don't, you. I don't know, Hang, if we have any slide with the contact information for the students to contact you directly. Mm. Yes, uh, with international at ezep.fr. Yes, they can email to us. Perfect. Thank you very much. So if any of our attendees have any other questions, we encourage them to send us all your questions via email or uh, contact uh, any ISAP representative directly through the platform. Um, yes. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to add anything else to this webinar. No, so I would like to say thank you to um, all the um, attendees um, during these uh, hours. Uh, listening to us and um, hope you you have uh, you, we, we give you a good idea about uh, what we could offer to you and uh, we hope to receive your applications or your questions we are here for that hmm. yes so thank you everybody uh, as Thomas and Karen has shared I mean in the uh, Q&A session so application is open now so if you would like to apply for our IEMDP two years master program or CII uh, program. If you are high school graduates, you can apply now, okay? And you can uh, visit our English website as application form, uh, you can find there too, okay? Perfect, thank you very much. We are sending once again the application form uh, through the chat. Uh, so we invite to all the people registered in this webinar and all the people who are watching us on our Facebook Live to visit um, the ISEP International website and of course the Viva Mundo's website if you want to find out more information about studying abroad. So once again, thank you very much for your brilliant presentation. I'm sure you provided us um, really useful information for those who are planning to study their Mm, the study process abroad. And okay. finally, thank you to our attendees for listening. We hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias. <laughs> gracias. Awesome. Gracias. Au revoir. Ciao. Au revoir. Ciao.